Hello and we're gonna get rich in Warcraft Rumble today. I'm gonna to show you my perfect Sneed build for this. Now, as you can see, I'm popping Sneed himself down the middle so he can collect those chests. Now, if you're asking yourself why, it's pretty simple. He's gonna double up that gold, giving us more resources than we can even handle right here. As you can see there, we just got four gold from one chest. So imagine what it's gonna be like if we control all the resources on the map. So my build here is basically simple. We're going with Sneed himself, obviously. Bat Rider, Torin Warrior, Meat Wagon, because Meat Wagon is fantastic for collecting gold and just sieging those enemy turrets. We also got ourselves the nice Dark Spare Troll, the Huntress, and Polymorph to deal with a lot of those pesky strong enemies. And as you can see, the Huntress is here clearing out that wave, no problem. Now, Early on, I did make a couple of mistakes, but that's okay. And Batrider is doing nice damage to the enemy base, which is working out in our favor right here. We're going to drop Sneed because I believe the chests are about to spawn. We also need to clear the left-hand side perfectly so we can ensure that we can get those resources in those mines. Now, we do have a mass contingent coming up on the right-hand side. The only thing that can hit air in there is the Necromancers. Hopefully, this Batrider can do some damage. And we polymorph them there, instantly destroying those weak sheep. Sadly, it wasn't able to get the Necromancer. Now, Huntress is really great for the fact that once she has nobody to really contend with, she can easily take the checkpoint for the enemy base, that second turret. Now look at that contingent from the enemy, so weak, and the Torrent Warrior is there blocking. We got no damage from the enemy, and Sneed is doing nice to that Polymorph Sheep, dropping the Dark Spectral to ensure, because he popped actually Cheat Death on. Oh man, he popped Cheat Death, and if he didn't, then I wouldn't have lost Sneed, but that's okay. We also got our Meat Wagon coming down. We're about to do so much damage to our enemy here. He's about to collect double the Meat Wagons, which is going to be mass damage from those Siege. Look at that great chunk, and it's all about collecting these resources. That bonus resources that allows you to get rich with Sneed is perfect. Just wait till you get a lot of his traits. When you get his traits, you're going to be earning even more gold. Now, if you're lucky, you will, however. I'm still trying to get there because I'm not getting a lot of stars in the shop, so it's very hard for me to level up Sneed right now in this next game. We're basically going to follow through with the same plan. This is the ideal mindset you need to have. Sneed's going down there. We're pressuring on the right-hand side with the meat wagon. Sneed's going to be able to collect at least one of those chests, which is fantastic. So we outmaneuver our enemy with some nice resource play. We got the Huntress coming now so she can clear those two ranged people. No problem. She's about to throw her glaives, and there it goes. As you can see, sadly, the one thing I actually wasn't expecting was him to drop those dragons, those whelplings, but my hunters were strong enough to clear it out. My Torrent Warrior on the left hand side, and sadly, he did pop his commander, which cleared out my meat wagon. Now, on the bright side, Huntress made her way all the way to the enemy turret, the main base, and is doing some nice damage. Now, I do see the enemy right there with Rend Blackhand doing some damage. I was waiting for him to actually lose the dragon to my tower. As you can see, Bat Rider instantly countered him because he cannot hit the air targets. So Sneed is just collecting resources for me, which is perfect. We dropped another Huntress coming down mid. Now the sad part about this, that was probably actually not a great idea, simply for the fact that that dragon is gonna be doing a lot of damage. Thankfully, my Huntress does target him, get rid of it, and Sneed was not able to survive. Can she clear the Whelplings and the Pyromancer here? We're waiting to see, yes she does. We also got that Meat Wagon heading over on the left-hand side. That's some nice pressure. The enemy is probably folding right now. And this is what we want. Now, this gameplay is all about pressuring your enemies with your meat wagon and your huntress, which will allow you enough time for Sneed to go straight down the middle and collect those chests, giving you four gold per pop. Now, let's say magically you were unable to collect the mines on top or missed out on one chest. The good thing is when Sneed collects those chests, you get four gold, which more than makes up for your loss at least. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're headed up in this third game right here, and as you can see, he chose the wrong commander. Now, I mainly say that because I personally think that General Draxet is the worst commander in the game currently. Now, the reason I popped Meat Wagon as well as Bat Riders is mainly because Sneed wasn't available to me in the beginning, and I didn't want to lose any of those chests. Sadly, we didn't collect it anyways, which sucks, but it's okay. The Bat Rider is going to be more than strong enough to eliminate all the units on the ground, probably playing my Xandalari Troll. Sorry, why did I say Xandalari Troll? Too many WoW years are playing. My Dark Spare Troll was unable to really do what I needed him to do, and that's fine. We're going to try to make up for it here. I messed up the beginning really hard, but that Bat Rider is doing a lot of damage to the enemies. Obviously, he's targeting the Fire Elemental, which isn't really going to do much because fire doesn't really hurt fire, you know what I mean? So, with that being said, we did, however, take the turret on the left-hand side. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold it off. I did get Sneed down the middle. Hopefully, those chests spawn perfectly so he's able to collect it. We polymorphed right there to minimize the damage that we have to deal with. We're going with the Bat Rider. They're going to be able to clay the enemy general easily. Now, we did 
lose the tower on the left hand side as well the enemy was able to reclaim it but because we had taken it he used a lot of his forces there instead of pushing down now hopefully we can clear the left lane so we can collect that gold in that mine look at how beautiful it looks we got one cobalt though coming out collecting it on the right hand side since he has no units we do have a very nice contingent they should more than be able to clear out that dragon perfect right there now if we're lucky we're going to be able to capture that tower on the left hand side again because we actually have a pretty nice squad going towards it they're already starting to dish out damage the enemy does play well things but it's not going to be enough to really do much against me however the huntress did take a lot of damage there and we lost the bat rider we did collect it and we did get that tower back under our control now the middle lane we did lose sneed sadly however but the bat rider is doing damage to the enemy and we got the tauren warrior charging the other tauren warrior we should be fine we're not going to take too much damage sadly right now we actually earned the deficit of damage overall we need to somehow make sure we do damage to the enemy base because we don't want to go out this way we don't want to lose to that and if we do go into overtime we want to make sure we are just above the health threshold just by a little bit to ensure when that overtime happens they lose first thankfully the meat wagon was not actually countered and he's going to be taking a lot of damage he really spent most of his units ensuring he was able to capture back his lost tower now with that being said look at that damage we're getting off on his base we might actually end it here he doesn't seem to have any resources to counter that we do have sneed here collecting and now it's going to be pop four gold instantly we can easily oh man defend this wave here but we wouldn't need to and gg that is such a satisfying victory I haven't had such a satisfying victory like that in a little while. Now, in this next game here, it's going to be a very interesting. Ren Blackhand, in my personal opinion, is actually one of my favorite commanders. I really do enjoy playing it, and I'm trying my best to spend my gold to level him up. And the reason for that is pretty simple. I actually love all of Ren Blackhand's talents, so I'm working on a build right now that would work out. So Sneed's going to collect that gold for us, and we're going to see if we can really deal with this left-hand contingent. What we need is Polymorph right here. My Huntress is easily going to be able to clear this out with the Bat Rider being placed down. The enemy is right now probably so angry, and I don't blame him. Think about it. That was a whole contingent. That was all your resources instantly destroyed by a Polymorph. He does use his Blizzard, which is not going to be enough to stop the Huntress. However, the Huntress is not going to be able to take the left-hand tower. That was a really nice play by him. Now, the Meat Wagon is coming out. If it makes it to the base, it's not. That Ghoul is going to shred that Meat Cannon to pieces right there. Oh, no. The Bat Rider is coming down on Sneed and my Dark Spirit Troll. That is actually really bad for me overall in a play. I'm going to drop my Cobalt here first, then my Huntress. As you can see, it worked out in my favor. Now, the main reason I dropped that Cobalt was to take the initial damage and get those stealth units out and then my huntress immediately eliminated them now i do have them with a massive middle unit section coming in on my base so i have to be able to contend with that in a second i don't really have any range units so i'm just letting them get a little close probably going to use my polymorph or you know what i can do after that i can drop my spare troll right here who's going to do some damage getting rid of those sheep no problem we do have to get rid of the enemy huntress because she does so much damage to the main base we can't continue taking that now, we did clear out basically the enemy contingent. The sad part is we are down again in a deficit. So we need to be able to turn this around. Hopefully that Cobalt is able to collect some resources. If we don't pull it together right here and get the resources needed, we are going to fall behind very far and may not be able to recover. Because this looks like one of those games that may actually go into overtime. So we need to keep that in our thoughts right here. We do have Meat Wagon going down. Hopefully those chests spawn in time. And I think my tower will be able to kill that commander. It does. We do get one of the chests. It's going to happen. Perfect. So we're dropping Huntress. We did get the other chest. Oh, look at this. This is working out in our favor right here. We were gladly able to clear all the enemy units and collect the resources. Sadly, we did lose a tower. So we're going to look to take that back first. And if we can get that back, it's going to work in our favor as we're going to even off the board and really focus on doing damage to the enemy base. Meat Wagon's going there. Hopefully Meat Wagon can do some nice damage or at least some damage. And it is, which is good. We did also reclaim the base. Now we just have to get rid of the enemy team coming on our left-hand side. Thankfully, they're super low health, so the base might be able to do it themselves, but the Dark Spare Thrill does really help a lot. The Meat Wagon did a fantastic job evening us out with that equal health pool. Now, I really like that it shot that last Meat out at the enemy turret. Right before dropping, he does use Blizzard. Wow, interesting. I use it straight on my main base. 
So I'm going to pressure him as much as possible. Sneed's going to have to contend with that ghoul. I think Sneed should overall win. Yes, with the Dark Spirit Troll, we do use sheep just in time, which is wasted gold for the enemy with that Huntress who got sheep easily and destroyed. Also, look at that beautiful gold we got when Sneed collected that chest. Now, the Huntress is not going to have a problem getting rid of those rogues. The Cobalt on the left-hand side is, however, going to get burned off. Sneed's immediately going towards the enemy base. We do have... That nice bat rider actually doing damage right now. Sneed's not going to make it any further. At least I don't think so. Is he going to be able to do it? He does buzzsaw the enemy base. And you can immediately see it looking really good. We somehow turned this game around, which I'm pretty impressed with. I wasn't expecting it to be like this, but it's looking really nice for us. Come on, Torrent. One more hit, and there we go, GG. And that game was actually pretty intense, learning how to turn that around. I'll be very honest with you. I think we got really lucky. Okay, with that being said, we're going up against Tyrion Forgering. Tyrion Forgering is probably, in my opinion, an S-tier champion or an S-tier mini leader. So we don't have Sneed yet, so we have to play down that Dark Spare Troll. As you can see, Sneed going there. Sadly, Sneed's not going to be the one to destroy those chests, so we're not going to get the boosted bonus resources that we needed. But the Cobalt is working towards it. The enemy does use Safe Pilot, which eliminates my Dark Spare Troll. Sneed eliminates the Safe Pilot, and I don't think he'll be able to eliminate those Wolf or Tyrion Forging. We may have to polymorph them and allow the Bat Rider to destroy them. We will have to wait and see. That heal comes out from Tyrion, saving that wolf, but it was not enough. The Turin goes in on the left-hand side, which eliminates the Spare Troll. Now, on that note, look at that. I'm going to polymorph up there, which allowed my Huntress to actually get rid of Tyrion Forging. But he played the Naga. Oh! Look at that. We actually won that fight, and Huntress is doing such a massive amount of damage with her glaive right now we're not going to be able to collect that gold mine resources because of that nice safe pilot landing there but the bat rider did a fantastic job eliminating out the safe pilot we're going to get one chest here at least which is going to work out in our favor the wolf does come in super fast we do get four goals so either way we still come out on top and more resources earned compared to our enemy so hopefully we're able to take his left hand tower if not that's okay we're just trying our best to apply pressure now we do see Tyrion forging there the bat rider actually has nothing to worry about neither is the naga going to be able to hit that air unit so that's actually a very bad play for his part we're polymorphing mainly because we do not want to lose our cobalt but it looks like we actually may still have to fight that naga just out of range the cobalt is walking super lucky right now not actually getting hit by anything we're gonna send them off to hopefully be able to get that mine the meat wagon i don't know that rogue is coming on that wargan is going he's gonna hit the meat wagon but that's okay leave the cobalt alone dude oh no he does eliminate him but sneeds down the middle collecting those four resources instantly there dropping the turn and the dark spare troll to counter the enemy tank that was coming into my base this is getting really interesting but the fact that we're controlling all the resources is working so well for us right now we don't have a lot to worry about and we drop the huntress down the middle because i'm pretty sure we have a very good opportunity right now to land some massive damage on the enemy base dropping the bat rider we are also going to use polymorph right here we did eliminate the enemy safe pilot with that nice polymorph but i'm pretty sure Tyrion, even in that form is going to come out and heal himself just like i said but he's not going to be able to survive that contingent we're dropping the cobalt to walk down the left hand side and i'm pretty sure we clear no these they're still fighting Tyrion forging which is actually pretty interesting right now we do have two enemies coming down the middle sneed as well so hopefully we can fight over that chest and yes we're still contending sorry contesting that chest right now which is something we need to focus on hopefully the dark spectral gets there in time to not allow the other dark spectral to get it and i think we have it here we're going to collect the resources he does get one but since sneed activated that chest you saw we still got the bonus which is something to keep in mind we also have to note that the enemy base is less than five percent away from defeat so everything is working fantastically for us we may polymorph the right hand side once we get the goal unless the dark spectral is able to end it oh no Dark Spare Troll gets eliminated in that mirror matchup right there. We do have the Meat Wagon going straight down the middle and the Torrent on the left-hand side, adding pressure while the Cobalt comes to collect that nice gold. However, time's about to go into overdrive, which is nice to see as well because we're going to have more gold and we're just going to keep spending it to hopefully pressure our enemy and eliminate them as fast as possible. The Meat Wagon's going to get eliminated and the right-hand side there is not really much to worry about. Bat Rider is such a good unit, but enemies who have air defense don't really have to worry too much about the Bat Rider. However, if you're a heavily ground unit, which I realize most enemies are, the Bat Rider is such a fantastic unit. Overall though, I would say Sneed is probably my fifth 
favorite leader right now. It's a really good comp, and I do like playing it sometimes, mainly for the gold collection, I'll be very honest with you. Now, we're also running out of time and overtime, so if we get to that 10 second mark, that is definitely a GG. I don't see my enemy turning it around, and the Torrent goes in and gives us the victory. GG, guys.